everyone this is Deepika Banod today i'm going to discuss briefly about a very common query which lingers around in our mind every time we type a url in the browser so let's get started you enter a url into the browser it all starts here basically whenever we want to connect to a particular server for example let's consider google.com here we actually want to reach out a server where Google Web Services are hosted. As an example, I have given one such server as Google has around 1 million servers in various locations. The browser looks up the IP address for the domain name. DNS server, which I would call a resolver, does look up to find the IP address of the server. So DNS lookup proceeds by first checking browser cache if the browser doesn't contain the record in its cache, uh, it makes a system call to underlying operating system to fetch the record. If that also fails, then the search continues to your route router which has its own cache. If everything fails, the search moves on to ISP. At first, uh, it tries in its cache. If not found, then ISP's DNS recursive search comes into picture. So the domain name which you have entered gets converted into the DNS number. After which browser initiates a TCP connection with the server and sends a HTTP GET request. Now the web server passes on the request to the proper request handler which will return a HTML response in our case. This HTML data stream response is then sent back to the browser. Now browser receives the HTTP response and then browser displays the HTML content. And in our case, it's the Google web page. So rendering of HTML content is done in phases. Uh, it first get HTML structure and then sends multiple get requests to fetch other linked stuff. And there's lot more after this. And yeah, this is just an outline of what happens whenever you type a URL. So that's it. Hope you found helpful. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye bye.